Whenever it's called, we work harder because because we have a vision for Trinidad and Tobago and for the people of Trinidad and Tobago. We have the plans to bring crime down, to decline the crime rates. We have the plans to regrow the economy, to build the economy, to create jobs for the people of our land. So, based on that vision. I think we are on good standing and good ground as we continue the challenges before us, as we continue to work harder to bring home and bring victory to the UNC and to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> the Sandy Grandi team and the Sandy Grandi candidates. In the last local elections, we had five out of eight seats. Today, we have six out of the eight seats. In the San Fernando Corporation, we had three out of nine seats. We then had a defector taking us down to two seats. And today, we have four seats out of the nine confirmed. And one seat is still outstanding. Shabonas, we have won seven out of the eight seats. In Cuba, in Cuba, we have won all 14 out of the eight. Sorry, I'm sorry. It used to be 14. We have now won 15 out of 15. In Mayaro, we had five out of six. We now have six out of seven seats in Mayaro. In the fortress of Pinal Dewey, we have returned 10 out of 10 seats. In my hometown of Safaria, we have retained six out of the nine seats and we have made inroads into several of the PNM seats. In Princess Town, we have confirmed a 9 out of 10, and one seat is still outstanding. In the Tunapuna, Tunapuna Piaco Corporation, we have won 5 out of 16 seats in Tunapuna, but we have made tremendous inroads and strong PNM PDs in the Tunapuna Corporation. And in some cases, the margin is so small that I believe that my colleagues from Tunapuna will request recounts tomorrow. In Samuel Avantel, we have retained our two seats. In Arima, one out of seven, and we are still awaiting, one out of seven we had, and we are awaiting um, results from some of the other seats in Arima. In Dago Martin, we have made tremendous inroads, yeah. and we should retain the post of Alderman. In Port of Spain, I don't seem to have those results there. So, look, we have increased our seats in Granley by two more seats. We have 
narrowly lost seats in Tunapuna. One seat, I'm told, was lost by one vote. In a seat that we have never won before. One seat. Um, again, in Arima, we gained tremendous ground. One seat uh, lost by nine votes. So, you know, we will have to challenge that. PNM lost votes in almost all the seats in Trinidad. And then we have gained in traditional areas, like PNM areas, we have gained in those seats, many of them, very, very close margins. In Diego Martin, the accommodation gave the PNM a run for their money in Diego Martin. <laughs> I do not have the final numbers, but at the end of the day, we would have gained the popular vote. That is more votes in the PM in the entire election. So let's talk about some other matters. In spite of all the challenges, in spite of the millions that the PNM has spent and our opponents have spent, we have done so well. We have done very well. Several issues, several issues that our lawyers will help us um, deal with. It began with the ballot box tampering of the special voters at the BBC office. Then today, numerous reports of payment for votes. Our opponents were out in the field paying for votes in Granley and in San Fernando. In other areas, when we were watching these two areas as a battleground corporations, we have the reports, we have videos, and again, lawyers will advise us. These are election offenses, tampering with the boxes and paying for votes. Again, that's for tonight. I want to thank you all again. I want to thank everyone, all those who work so hard. It will be too many names to call. But I, I know that every team in every part of the island really, really worked really, really hard. Let's give everybody a round of applause. <laughs> Let us not forget our accommodation partners. Captain Gary Griffith, he gave him a run for his money in the world. And Mr. Jack Warner on the corridor, working with Jill and John, our deputy, they really gave them a run for their money. So to everyone again, thank you. Don't leave. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, the old deputy, yes, of course, Mr. Jackman is here. Let's welcome him. Thank him so much. Thank the OWTU for the hard work they put down in those areas where they were working with us. And um, the national executive, the MPs, the senators, there's so many of them I would like to thank. And I know I sent three small boys into um, San Fernando. Uh, these small boys really work so hard. So I talk MP Rataram, MP Barry, MP Saddam. And together with the small boys, we had a big girl, Khadija Amin. <laughs> I want to thank our campaign manager, Feroz Khan. General Secretary, Peter Kanai. Kevin Gibbs, run the show from the background. Biggs is Biggs here with us tonight. Biggs, we want to thank Biggs for his work. I want to thank um, DJ Tank, the music man, the song man. It was here, there, everywhere. Again, all those of you who labored, thank you very, very much. God bless you all. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.